The away dressing room at Tynecastle. Visiting teams struggled to get a result at this stadium, and that was before Rangers sold their leading scorer. Without Kenny Miller, they face a heart side which is right on their heels, which is on form and on fire. Afternoon awaits here in Edinburgh. It's the SPL's form side against the champions, Hearts and Rangers. Live now in Sky Sports High Definition. Could this be a three way fight at the top? Now in contention with the old firm, Hearts have broken free from the nine clubs below them. They're 11 points ahead of Kilmarnock in fourth. The next two days will be decisive. On Wednesday, they go to Celtic Park. If they win today, they'll go within two points of Rangers, having played two games more. The Ibrox men will go top if they win. Good afternoon to you. Hearts play old firm opponents three times in their next four SPL games. A victory today is crucial if they are to mount a serious challenge. Neil, the Hearts really need to step up today and show that they are the real deal. If they want to be taken seriously, David, they have to, yes. Um, and you're right in saying the next four games will shape their season. I feel they have to show a wee bit of belief. It's something that you get when you go to Old Firm, when you come to difficult ties and difficult grounds, that there's always a belief that even if it's nil-nil or you're, or, or you're down a goal towards the end of the game, there's always a belief that drives you on that you'll get something from that game. It was proved when Rangers came here in the last game when they won 2-1. Third minute in the injury time, Naismith gets a winner. So Hearts need to start showing that for them to be taken seriously. No Kevin Kyle today for Hearts. It's Kyle Lafferty up front for Rangers today, filling in the gap left by the departure of Kenny Miller, who is now, of course, in Turkey. And he was paraded in Turkey at the home of the Champions Bursa Spor, Rangers Champions League opponents yesterday. A huge crowd met him. Miller mania in Turkey. What now for Rangers, Neil? Well, this is a massive blow. 21 league goals Kenny brought to them, and not just the goals. You know, he took on the huge responsibility of that goal getting um, that Chris Boyd left, you know, and, and, and he took it on and he flourished and he offered so much more. He was running into channels, he was doing everything that a team player should do and bringing the goals. Now, can Rangers recover that when Miller's gone? Miller done it. When Boyd left, who do they look to? Jelovic is back. He's not totally fit yet. I don't think he will be for another two or three games before we start seeing the best of him. Lafferty's up front today. He hasn't scored, I think it's nine games, but he has been playing well. But one of those players now needed to own the responsibility that Kenny Miller has left, and that is the goals that he offers. 21 league goals for Kenny Miller this season. There are just 12 SPL goals in the entire Rangers starting 11 this afternoon. Now, looking at the last 10 games, it's Hearts who are very much the on-form side in the Scottish Premier League. Nine wins and a draw. They've conceded just three goals and they're the only side to have recorded a domestic shutout against Celtic this season. Credit to Jim Jeffries. Let's hear it from the two managers now, starting with the Hearts boss. You know, we had a great result midweek. We got a little bit of a cushion going into these two games, so it's there for us. What we won't do is, 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 is beat them if we go and take too long to, to get started. And I'll stress that to the players the other night. We upped our game in the second half and, you know, dominated that and got the result. But you sometimes kind of get away with that uh, and certainly not get away with it again so far. So right from the start, as I said, Rangers are... The media is clever that they can put pressure on Rangers as well by saying that there's somebody coming there to challenge them and knowing that it fires them up as well. So Rangers will be up for it as well. So it should be a, a, a real tough uh, physical match we're expecting. How big a blow is it not having Kevin Kyle and what will Ryan Stevenson offer? Well, it's a blow not having Kevin because he's, he's obviously, you know, we, we try and get it down, get it into wide and get balls in. And then obviously if there's nothing on, we've got that option to to throw it in there and feed off him but um, Ryan Stevenson's got a lot of aggression about him and he played well the other night 
He's played in that position a couple of times for us pre-season and done well. So we've just got to concentrate that he keeps at the park. And with Stephen Elliott playing in the role that he is, you know, he's he's more a, a natural uh, striker. So you might find that he he might go and have a spell through the middle and 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 swap over with Ryan. So we'll keep them guessing. Walter, how difficult was it for you to pick the team in light of the departure of Kenny Miller? I actually made it a bit easier. <laughs> <laughs> we're going down. <laughs> um, no, obviously we were disappointed to lose Kenny. Um, but, but that's football nowadays and we have to, to look to cover it. So um, we're getting the Kicha Jelovic back. So hopefully, you know, that'll in some way make up a little bit for Kenny Levy. Let's look at your team selection. Then Kyle Lafferty up front, do you feel as if he has the capabilities to fill the void? Well, he's been doing very well this season. He's been settling a little. He was always a little bit erratic in his performance over the last few years he's been with us. Um, but this season, you know, he's been playing very well for us at times. Uh, you know, when he's came on and, and he's played Kenny Miller and Akeisha Yelovitz in the early part of the season, had a, a few games together. But, uh, you know, after that, when uh, Yelovitz got injured, we... Uh, Kyle's been playing well and he's been playing regularly for us you pick picked five in the midfield what's your thinking behind it for this match here at Tynecastle? Um, well we would hope obviously to get players like Stephen Naismith forward um, in the early part of the, of the game especially um, you know we have a capability in the middle of Steve Davis Morris Edu to get forward and get goals and uh, you know we would hope that that would be the case thanks for your time Walter thank you a lot of big names back then for Rangers. Ryan Stevenson gets an odd up front today for Hearts. A year ago he was at Air United. What do we know about Stevenson? It's a strange one for me, uh, David, that Ryan getting the shout up front. Uh, a, a, Jim could have possibly went with a boer up there. But he did mention something there about Ryan's aggression. You know, he, he's a physical presence. He'll go in, he'll, he'll make himself a nuisance. But it's important for Hearts that he holds it up. The most important thing when you're playing one up front is when the ball goes up there it needs to stick in order for your midfield to go and then support. As I said, Stephen Elliott will then maybe have a wee shot up there. You might even see David Templeton going through the middle and Ryan going to the left. So there's options there to, to move things about. But it needs to start well. It needs to hold it up in order to let Hearts get up the park and try and create attacks. It certainly is a big change for Hearts not having Kevin Kyle and of course a big change for Rangers not having Kenny Miller who will step up to the mark today and be a hero. At Tynecastle, Hearts are 15 points better off than this time last year. Can they extend their unbeaten run to 11 games today? It's a critical match in the title race. It's live next. Two managers in their 60s, both in their second spell at their respective clubs. Both today turning up the heat on each other and Celtic. Well, in the home dressing room, the manager and the captain, Marius Zaliukas, both geeing up the players. Nerves will be tested this afternoon with Rangers in town. H-E-A, R-T-S, spells danger for Rangers this afternoon. It's third against second in this three-horse title race. Commentators, Andy Walker and Ian Crocker. Thank you, David. The old firm are certainly looking over their shoulder at Hearts, who have thrust themselves into title contention with nine wins in ten matches in the SPL, and they drew the other one. If Hearts were to try them today, they would only be two points behind Rangers, but if Rangers prevail here, they will go top of the table for a few hours at least. Celtic home to Aberdeen later. Rangers have two games in hand on their Glasgow rivals. The big man, a big loss to Hearts today. Kevin Kyle unable to overcome a groin problem. Time Castle can be a daunting venue for the old firm, but Rangers, who are keeping Hearts waiting in that tunnel, have actually won on their last three visits and five of their last seven visits. So they do have what it takes to put Hearts in their place. Come on, lad. Hearts have already beaten Celtic here this season. Can they claim an old firm double? What an intriguing fixture this should be. It's a timely matchup. 
It's third against second. Inform Hearts challenging the champions. from Hearts is that top scorer Kevin Kyle failed a late test on his groin problem so midfield man Ryan Stevenson becomes a makeshift striker for the day Rudy Scatchell is okay though after a calf injury and Stephen Elliott starts after coming on to score twice at Kilmarnock on Tuesday Ian Black and David Abua drop to the bench for Kenny Miller away to Turkey Kyle Lafferty has handed the lone striker role with Nikita Jelovic not quite up to speed after his long layoff Stephen Naismith returns from a hamstring tweak. He scored a stoppage time winner here in October. Morris Adu's presence is required in what could be a really bruising midfield battle. Richard Foster and Vladimir Weiss drop to a bench that includes strikers Jelovic and Beatty. Spaniard Suso makes the hearts bench after two months out with a knee injury. Kevin Kyle, a big loss for Hearts, but Jim Jeffries has great faith in midfielder Ryan Stevenson, hoping that he can do a job up front where he did play briefly in pre-season. And with Kenny Miller gone, Rangers rely on Kyle Lafferty today, but he hasn't scored an SPL goal since here at Tynecastle in October. The two managers are old friends, both in their second spells in charge of their clubs. Mike Tumulty is in charge of this one. 